And of course, since it's a messaging phone, we should uh, take a look at the messaging system. We're going to create a new message, make it a text message, and we're going to add a recipient from the contacts list. We'll send that to John Doe. Get into the text editor. You can see we've got the QWERTY mode here, and so sometimes the beeps don't keep up with the key presses, but in general, it seems to work really well. I mean, I find this keyboard really easy to use. The only time it's difficult is when you want to put in a number. There's no way to just long press a key or hit a shift or something like that. You actually have to switch keyboard modes and then put in your number one, two, three, four. And so if you're putting in a password or something that goes back and forth between QWERTY and numeric mode, uh, it can be a little frustrating, but otherwise it works really well. So we're going to send that message off. The LAS2 also supports uh, web-based email and Verizon's mobile email system along with the Remo Sync application. Welcome to Remo Sync, a corporate email contacts and calendar solution for. And of course, plenty of other functionality you can get to through the VCAST menu, uh, and there's also VZ Navigator built into the device. For corporate users, the Remo Sync application is going to be what makes the Alias 2. It's a full exchange client, has push email support, uh, as well as over the air contacts, calendar, and task synchronization. The email client is plain text only, and the original email sent from Gmail, this was bold and red, but you can see it's, it's viable for reading app, uh, emails nonetheless. If you need to get to a lot of folders, though, folder access is really, really slow. You can see we're going to go to the server folders option here. We're going to pick a subfolder from the inbox. Uh, we'll say this editor's one. And this is going to take some time. You can see we finally have the folder listed here, and you can see there's new messages and that kind of thing like that. But it's not really viable. You're really going to be spending a lot of time waiting for folders if you need to get to them often. So this client may not do it for you. But if you're uh, a one inbox kind of email user, then it's probably going to work out okay. Like you would expect, uh, there's, you can set up the schedule for when you want to sync uh, and it'll come up with regular alerts on the display when you get new email messages. So it's, it's, it's pretty good for exchange support on a feature phone. So that's our look at the Samsung SCHU750 alias 2 for Verizon Wireless. Very cool phone, a uh, very functional keypad, uh, probably better as a QWERTY device than as a normal flip phone, but um, really neat in the way that it all flips back and forth and you know reconfigures dynamically, uh, something you just haven't seen on any other devices so far. Uh, in terms of overall look, the device may be a little bland looking, but it does pack some, some cool tech inside. So That's our look at the Samsung SCHU750 LAS2 for Verizon Wireless. I'm Michael Orl for MobileBurn.com.